Hello, Unchained family. This is Faith Unchained, where we teach you how to break the chains that bind you. And really quick before we begin, I'm going to ask you, please subscribe to our channel. Like this video because with each like, it helps our video to get more views and to be seen by more people like yourself. And please share this video with anyone that you know. So today's topic is rather important when it comes to developing yourself, developing your marriage and or relationships. So know your enemy and what you're capable of. So you're probably hearing this and you think that you have a pretty good idea of what you are or are not capable of. Well, I want you to listen to this very closely. Pride cometh before the fall. Pride is the downfall of man. So I myself am guilty of being prideful. I've had people to try to tell me that something was wrong, um, you know, and I needed to fix something, but because I was so prideful and I didn't feel that anything was wrong, I didn't listen to them. And as a result, I ended up having a negative outcome. So the reason people end up making the same mistakes over and over again is because they delude themselves. And there are three ways that we go about doing that. So uh, the first delusion that people have, and this is men and women included, okay? Enough of this MGTOW, enough of this feminist crap, all right? Both men and women are guilty of sinning. Both of you are affected by sin because both of you live in the flesh, okay? So let's get that crap out of the way right now. All right, so the first delusion is thinking that your crap doesn't stink and that they can do no wrong, right? That you as an individual can do no wrong. People develop a narcissistic personality thinking that they can do no wrong. And that's exactly what it is, a narcissistic personality. And again, hi, I myself am guilty of doing that, right? Each and every one of us is guilty of doing that. I want you to understand that right now, okay? So when people point out your mistakes or something that you do wrong, this is what I'm getting at. I'm telling you how you know that you've done this before. When people point out your mistakes or something that you do wrong, right? You avoid taking accountability of it or having done anything wrong. You're guilty of doing it. In fact, it's important to know that you have some serious issues, okay? You got some serious issues. We all do. And Paul addresses um, his struggle with sin and what it's like in Romans 7, 18 through 20. And just as Paul struggled with sin, you do too. Just saying. So if you want to think about it like this, we are real life Dr. Jekylls and Mr. Hyde's. It's important to not only be aware of that other side, but what it's capable of when we choose to indulge in sin. The second delusion people have is thinking that everyone else is the problem, but not you. That somehow you are unaffected by sin. But as you can see, each and every one of us is affected by sin. And one of my biggest pet peeves is this. I absolutely hate when someone says, I will never 
do that. I absolutely hate that. So I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this, all right? Instead of saying, I will never do that, I want you to add something to it. I will never do that right now. So why I'm saying this is because I do think that this is situational, okay? So it depends on a certain situation. So let, let's let give you... Um, an example, right? You're in a relationship. Married, whatever. But you're in a relationship. At the beginning of the relationship, you say that I will never cheat on you. You say that. Now, over time, this person might withdraw their love from you, stop being affectionate, whatever. And as a result, you, because of that loss of affection, love, uh, attention that you're used to getting, you go look for it somewhere else. And as a result, you end up cheating. And the number one thing that people will say um, when they cheat is that, well, it's because you did this to me. All right. So here's an example of where everybody else is the problem, but not you. So, yeah, they might have withdrew their love and affection from you, but here's something you didn't take into consideration because this is the problem. Everybody goes into a relationship with a mindset of that, of a selfish, prideful, arrogant, single individual. So they go in with the mindset, how can I benefit from this relationship? What can I get out of the relationship? And the second that something goes wrong in this relationship, then I'm done, right? Instead of approaching the relationship, well, how can I work towards bettering myself as an individual so I can work towards the betterment of the relationship and towards the best interest of my partner? That is the mistake that people fall into and they point and say you are the problem you not me you but in that situation that I described that person isn't taken into account maybe that it's something that they too were also doing or not doing that resulted in their partner removing their love and affection from them, right? So you need to first look at yourself instead of pointing out everybody else's flaws and everything else everybody else is doing wrong, right? Okay, because sooner or later that pride can come back and bite you in the butt. So it's important to know that you are your own worst enemy and to know what you're capable of doing wrong so that you can begin working towards doing right. Okay? All right, good. So the final delusion that people have, um, it's starting to storm outside. That's, that's, that's why I'm looking around. Uh, but the final delusion that people have is becoming so holier than thou that you forget where it is that you come from. What I mean is that people get so caught up in their salvation that they become so judgy and critical of others instead of uh, realizing that they themselves are still affected by sin, right? 
you're so quick to point out others flaws and telling them that they're going to hell instead of remembering that you once stood in their place you get the big head and think that you are saved because of your deeds and you forget you are only saved solely by grace alone through faith alone let that marinate let that sink in so there's a couple of things to take into consider consideration uh, in regards to whatever you do in this life right first you still live in the flesh and because of this you're still going to struggle with sin we are not perfect each and every one of us are flawed and each and every one of us comes with our own set of baggage and issues and when you get into a relationship it's not just your issues that you have to deal with it's your partner's issues that you have to deal with as well second when it comes to self you are your own worst enemy never be quick to point out everyone's flaws or mistakes because you need to look in the mirror and check yourself first lastly never forget the first two steps and the only reason for your salvation isn't because of anything you did but by grace alone through faith alone these same people you keep saying are imperfect and are or going to hell right always remember they are a reflection of who you once were so guys that's the video please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below along with any questions comments or suggestions that you guys might have um, and do you struggle with any or all of these delusions mentioned today? Or do you still feel that your crap doesn't stink? Guys, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Again, each like helps us uh, to get more views on this video. Uh, to be seen more people like, uh, by more people like yourself. And please share this video with anyone you know. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Faith Unchained, where we teach you how to break the chains that bind you. See you later.